look at how wild this is. This is everybody that's looking for everybody over here. I already found my muscle tech liaison. There she is. <laughs> Her name's Moon. <laughs> she looks very excited. <laughs> All right, so we're headed now to the airport. Uh, we're at the airport. We're headed now to the Intercontinental. Um, I got my man over here helping me out with my bags. And we're waiting. Uh, Moon is actually going to be waiting for Abel. And Abel is coming in in about a half an hour. And I wasn't going to wait for, for his perfect bone structured face uh, <laughs> while I sit there for a half an hour. So in the meantime, I'm going to go check into the hotel. And then hopefully uh, they take me to the gym when Abel comes in. And uh, probably going to get a dinner. Preferably a real Chinese dinner. That would be really cool. Um, I know Moon had mentioned that it might contain a lot of fat in it. But hey, I'm in China. You know, I, I'm here to enjoy the experience. I don't know if I'll ever come back here. I hope so. But uh, this is an experience that I have to take advantage of. So if it is going to contain some fat, whoop de fucking do I could always burn that shit off later. But I'm here to enjoy this experience while it lasts. For those of you that think that New York driving is crazy, <laughs> you haven't seen shit yet. The driving here is wild. Like, very aggressive, very, um, very, uh, invasive into your space. Um, <laughs> just seatbelt on, brace yourself. I went to Currency Exchange as well when I was at the airport. So this is the uh, money that you get as far as the ends go when you exchange USD. Um, one yen, if I'm not, or yeah, if I'm not mistaken, is about 0.16 or 16 cents in um, USD. So each $100 bill here, or 100 of their currency is about 16 bucks, $16 USD. So stacking some paper right now. <laughs> and actually, uh, correction, it's not a yen, it's actually a yuan. So that's my mistake. I was under the impression it was uh, a yen. Either way, it's the Chinese currency. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool looking. Absolutely fabulous in here. I've stayed in quite a few of these um, in uh, Toronto, Miami, and now China. Very cool. I'm going to check in, get all settled, and hit the gym. All right, so here is the room. Very Nice bathroom. Got a big old tub here in the middle. Oh, and there's another spot. There's two showers, I think. Oh, this is the toilet. And this is the stand-up shower. Okay. Very cool. Large mirror. We do some po <laughs> do some posing in this mirror. Um, let's see, okay, that's a door that closes, very nice, very, very nice, can't, can't complain, wow. Little nice lounge chair, 
And what do we got? Wow. View of the river. Very sweet. This at night is going to be really fucking nice. Wow. Thank you, Muscle Tech, as always. Always hooking your boy up. Uh, hopefully I get to maybe go out and have a drink tonight and get the panoramic view of the of the city which if i'm not mistaken is called the the bund or the bond i don't know bund bond it looks awesome i saw pictures of it and i want a huge panoramic photo of it this is very cool all right i'm just waiting for my bags i'm gonna unpack them Head to so I'm obviously going with the fuck it mentality right now and I'm <laughs> gonna have my pre-workout meal. Oh, and I had something in my tooth. Whatever. <sighs> they got a buffet going on at the uh, hotel and it looks glorious. So I'm gonna try a couple of different things that I've never seen before. Don't even know what the hell they are. Uh, and see if it's any good. Here it is. Some sushi, some dim sum, some seafood. Let's see how good it is. All right, this is the Intercontinental, the hotel gym, which is not gonna, not gonna do it for me and big boy Abel over here. <laughs> you got, you got really extremely good lighting, like right over here. You, you look, your shoulders look crazy. Abel got a pre-pump, so I'm gonna give. I'm gonna say that it, it's the pump that did it. But this is the gym here. But you know, this is gonna be good for cardio in the morning and stuff like that. But we actually gotta find a real, legitimate gym to train at because this is this is not gonna do it. So we're gonna get some cardio in, and then our uh, host Moon is gonna take us for some authentic Chinese food, which is gonna have a lot of, uh, what is it, M MS MSG? MSG in it? Can't wait, MSG pump coming. We're both vlogging at the same time. <laughs> We're gonna go eat, look at this place, this is sick. It's like a wormhole portal. Very cool, very cool. Moon's gonna make us fat. We're going this way. Okay. Okay. Moon's Moon's gonna make us fat right now. Very cool. Look at that. Wow. This is like some outside mall kind of thing. It reminds me of where I live in Brickle. They have a uh, the out uh, like kind of like this, like an outside inside mall. Super cool. I think we're gonna go go look at something. Wow. We have to go that way, sorry. That, that one. Is it feels one? like, oh, it's like we're in Ultra. <laughs> ultra Music Festival. A little extracurricular cardio doesn't hurt. This is our, our food place, food of choice. Moon's gonna hook us up with the meal right now. She's doing all the um, <laughs> just sitting here. This is what I this is what I do in the Cuban restaurants. 
，虾仁粉丝堡跟这个，就哪个点多呀？谢哪个多是吧？啊，对，哪个点多，哪个好吃一点。嗯，好吃的可定是，肯定喜欢吃啥的，我也没吃过。嗯、行，挺好看的。那下面粉丝不要吗？嗯，我稍等，我这两个里面选一个，如果没有的话，这两个都要。稍等一下啊。好。啊，对，然后来一个那个菜，就是青菜。青菜，豆苗，它是都是。啊，不是，他要吃这个，就是不知道这这这什么？哎，是。这个是什么？嗯，米线这个没有了，没有了是吗？季节不对对，季节不对哈。那我们来一个鸡毛菜吧。这上古它鸡毛菜是吧？嗯。它是上古它它一它是一个汤。嗯，有清炒吗？没有。上古汤有没有汤是吗？对，这有汤的。啊，有汤的，那也那也行。没，那这个是啥呀？这个这个也没有的。豆苗，豆苗也行，要不然清炒豆苗吧。清炒豆苗。对，清炒豆苗。不知道他们爱不爱吃豆苗，然后再点一个那个小笼包。<笑>小笼包是。一笼。好的，一笼是五个。对对对。一笼五个。What is this？ 这个生煎 ，You wanna try？ This like 没有哦、oh, ，They don't do not have this one at this time. Okay. They just sold out. Because it's too good. <laughs> <laughs> Did we get a noodle? Something noodle? Yeah, yeah, noodle, noodle. Some, what kind of noodle you want? What is the difference between these? What is this noodle? Oh, this one. This one yeah, is what with is uh, noodles in season paste. Season paste. You have season paste, season paste, and this one is like a. Uh, it's like a broth. Scallion noodle. Like, scallion noodles. Uh, how do you say that one? Uh, so that's like a broth. This is like a. This is thicker. This is what? So, what is a? Uh, this one is spicy. Spicy. Yeah. And this one is. This one is like ah. Uh, oh, this one is traditional Shanghai. Traditional. Yeah. This. This two are. Okay. You want to try this one? This one. Which, which one's yeah, better? Yeah. Which one? Yeah. Which one would you pick? 一位是吧？对，一样上一位。啊，我的拌面和长春面一位啊。对对对。Just one, 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 one. Sure. 这个是面哈，让他们尝尝面。然后我刚才点的什么菜？红烧肉、鱼，然后还有一个清炒豆苗，对吧？对。然后再来一个虾仁，对，还有个桂鱼。Like I said, Moon is gonna make us fat. <laughs> I'm scared to see what's gonna come out. <laughs> so me and Abel are gonna do some wine tasting right now. This is a warm wine. It smells delicious. What's it called? Huangzhou. Huangzhou. Yeah, yellow wine. You can yellow wine. Yeah. Is a uh, very famous kind of wine in. Uh, mm, it's very good. Southern part of China. Yeah. Very good. It's not sweet, but it's also not bitter. Mm. You know what? Chinese people even use Huangzhou. This kind of wine. Mm. It's very fragrant. Yeah. Very fragrant. I don't even know what kind of taste to put to it because it's not it's not sweet and it's not bitter. Ah, I can't put my finger on it, but it's very good. Yeah, even we mm. also use it to cook. Oh yeah. Mm. And it doesn't it doesn't reek of like alcohol. Molasses. Molasses. Yeah. But it's not sweet. No, it's not. But it's not sweet. It's very good. Course number one. A beautiful, yeah, beautiful fish. Oh, it smells more so stuff good. came out. More stuff came out. More stuff came out. <laughs> it's just like God. <laughs> Look at this pork. This is insane. <laughs> this pork is absolutely wild. <laughs> Dim sum, playa. Oh That's how we do. <laughs> oh, what is this coming in here? Oh, <laughs> the dumpling. <laughs> yes, yeah, steaming one. Wow, they're steaming. <laughs> yeah, you know. Traditionally, dumpling is not steaming, but oh, they're steaming. Like, they're steaming. Noise. Noise, yeah, but noise, yeah. Put this chair. Let them see it. They gotta make more room. <laughs> they gotta make more room for us. Yeah, for more to come. <laughs> <laughs> and surprisingly, it's as much food so far as we're eating. It's very light. Yeah, it's very light. Yeah. It doesn't feel really it doesn't feel light. like you know like oh, wow. two things and you're super full. Yeah. Yeah.
Oh, I'm gonna pick that off the bone, so. <laughs> that stays. Don't take the duck. Or the fish. Oh, this is really, really very traditional Shanghai cuisine. Traditionally, we do not eat dumpling this way. You have to try it because this is also even the first time for me to eat that one. Oh, yeah? Yeah, sure. I never ate this one before. For dessert, rice pudding. And I see some steam coming out of it. They're gonna separate it now for us. But I think I've had enough carbs and enough sodium for the next week. <laughs> My faces are already filling out. <laughs> I used to have cheekbones before I got here, and now it's filled out. This is not that heavy. Not that fat. <laughs> this but is not that. With chicken breast, it is. Compared to, <laughs> compared to everything that we usually eat. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's going down the same way. <laughs> I'll show you guys what this looks like. Oh, here it is. Rice pudding with aged cheddar. It smells phenomenal. There it is. So we're done getting fat <laughs> for one day. That shit was amazing. The food here, I mean, it's nothing like the States. It's so fresh. Like everything feels. At least in the place that we ate at, felt like so authentic. It coming out, the way it was plated, that rice pudding was insane. It had dates in it. It actually had tomatoes in it too, but it had a, a like a sugar with oil on top of it that it, it still didn't make it very uh, very sweet. But it was just so good. The texture of the of the rice, uh, the food's insane here. But that's the last time I'm gonna eat for the day. Uh, probably do a little bit of fasting tomorrow. I don't know what's going on over there. <laughs> I'm gonna do some fasted cardio tomorrow, early, early with Abel, and get ready for this uh, shoot thing that we're doing tomorrow. I don't even know. I'm, we're just gonna show up. <laughs> we're just gonna get ready, get dressed, and show up, and whatever happens, happens at that point. But it's a nice, it's a nice night. Thought it was gonna be much colder. Online it said it was gonna be like in the 40s. And I brought my Michelin Man sweater with me, but it's not really needed. So we're just waiting for our ride now. And we're gonna head back to the hotel. Sweet view of the room at night. It's much nicer in person. They got a nice little uh, river. Down here, I don't know what the hell this river's called. But they got a causeway. It almost kind of reminds me of Miami a little bit. Like the Miami River, except not the Miami River. Oh man. Tomorrow's gonna be absolutely nuts. So me and Abel, we're gonna be at the gym tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. Gotta get to get our cardio in. After we do cardio, we're gonna do some training and do our best with what we got over there and then from 8 30 to pretty much like i don't know six or seven o'clock we're gonna be working uh well we're gonna be sightseeing and then we're gonna be working um with uh alibaba uh, i think you guys may have heard of that uh, alibaba is almost like the ebay here in uh in china and we're gonna be doing some uh, pretty much like a seminar slash demonstration exercises um, and it should be pretty pretty sweet uh, pretty interesting we have a set list of different exercises that we got to perform and teach and then from there 
we're going to be winging everything else, a Q&A and see where that takes us. But it's day going to be day one tomorrow. So day one's going to be already action packed. And we haven't even hit the expo. Expo starts on Wednesday. Tomorrow's Monday. So I'm planning on doing a fast. <laughs> oh, I'm planning on doing a fast tomorrow um, for about 10 hours or so. Uh, at least 10 hours. Let's see if I can uh, digest some of this food that we had today. Um, so probably right around... Hmm, I'd say about maybe 12 tomorrow I'll have my first meal. So until then, I'll have enjoyed my coffee. And uh, I brought some Tupperwares so I can order some food here at the hotel and then pack it in my Tupperware. And later on, when I do break my fast, I can eat it. So that's what I'm going to do. Hope you guys enjoy this China trip because... It's fucking exhausting already, but wanted to document it so I could have this forever and ever and ever. And this fucking AC, I don't know. I don't know what the hell is going on with it, but it's damn hot in here. Let's see if it works now. It's, it's, it's way too hot in here. You're trying to kill me. I'm trying to get it down to 18 degrees Celsius and it's just not cooperating with me. Please, please God, please don't allow this to break. Okay, well, let's see what happens. Anyways, I'm gonna shower and shave my face and get ready to go to bed. Big day tomorrow. I'll keep you guys posted. Oh, 3 a.m. 3 a.m. AC is not working whatsoever. I had called maintenance. They came up and um, nope, AC is not going to work. So a five star, four or five star intercontinental hotel tells me, hey, why don't you just open up a window? That'll fix the issue. Come on. Come on. So um, I had them upgrade me so let's see uh i have to i pack unpacked all my shit now i gotta repack everything to then go to the new room to then unpack everything and i gotta be up at six it's 3 a.m right now so i'm working on this right now and uh hopefully the next room is uh at least the ac works well they moved my room and guess what this ac is exactly the same their uh, explanation was that too many guests were complaining that it was too cold. So they cranked up the heat here to compensate for that. So I'm assuming that their entire AC um, system is all linked together because I can't control my own AC. So I had to open up the window after I, well, after I had to repack everything, come back to this room. Unpack everything. Realize that all the rooms are exactly the same. Um, they are going to bring a cooler. That's what they how they explained it. We'll bring a cooler to your room uh, tomorrow. Because right now it's unavailable. Okay, well, I guess I'll be uh, hot and muggy tonight. And then maybe tomorrow I'll be not so hot and muggy. I wish I just had a, a hammock I'll just lay outside because outside is actually pretty nice. It's in like the 50s, but it's hot. As, it's not not comfortable in here, that's for sure. So I have to wake up in a few hours. I, I can't see myself going back to sleep. Um, they have us traveling tomorrow, like three hours from the hotel to wherever we need to get to. So I'll probably nap in the car on the way there so yeah uh, what I have to meet up uh, Abel pretty soon to uh, go training in the morning in our e exclusive gym ah, the gym sucks here but um, but yeah so let me see if I could eat, at least get maybe a solid hour off to the gym 
now to be able our cardio do some chest and maybe some biceps no sleep well hardly any sleep so all my sleep is going to be in the car uh, when we're driving to our shoot destination which is about three hours there and three hours back so I'll get plenty of sleep there uh, let's see what uh, we can do with this uh, Mickey Mouse looking gym exceptional workout today even though the machines were very limited um was very happy about that because uh we did me and abel we got almost pretty much almost an hour of cardio in and then we did you know our weight training he did some shoulders and i, I did some some uh chest training but here's what we got for food a ton of coffee it's like we got some eggs they actually did steak and eggs which is nice and a shit ton of coffee and take a look at this um this view wow insanity yeah this view is really nice though so i'll deal with the heat for a little bit <laughs> if i get a if i get a really nice view like this this is insane uh, i'm gonna eat gonna do uh take a shower and then head off to our three hour ride to God knows where to do God knows what in China. Three hours of driving. Well, we've only done about an hour and a half right now. So we got like another hour-ish and a half. So I am, I'm forced to talk to Abel here. I'm, for <laughs> I'm forced to, to have to suffer next to him and and force myself to talk about topics like bodybuilding that I absolutely <laughs> hate and despise. And just before that he's like, okay, I'm going to bed, guys. <laughs> now he's about to take a nap. So I'm going to let time go by extremely fast and this is a nice way of telling the person next to you that you don't care for, hey, I don't want to speak to you anymore. You put on your shades on and you tell him, I'm going to take a nap because I had a very long night last night. So if you want to get out of a situation where you have to be talking to somebody, just tell them you're tired and you're going to take a nap. It works every single time. But yeah, we're, we're tra traveling right now. It looks like um, we're going to get to this unknown location that we don't know where we're <laughs> This is a mystery location that we're going to. I mean, we're going to go sightseeing. Yeah. We're going to go sightseeing. So a mystery park of some sort that we're going to go to and... Uh, and check it out, but it's a seems like a decent day <laughs> out here. It's it's cold. It's it's kind of nippy out, but the sun's out, so that's that's very nice. But we'll be. Uh, I'm gonna take a nap and then be there in like an hour and a half. Guess where your boys at? <laughs> well, there is no sign, but <laughs> McDonald's. I'm trying to see what they got here that maybe I've never tried before and eat it and they have a lot of crazy stuff so I'm gonna order something this is exciting all right so your boy went with a Russian sausage double chicken burger <laughs> with fries I wonder if it's gonna and I don't know and um, and I went with a peach pie instead of an apple pie peach pie and it's pink I've never seen a pe a pink peach before but I'll take it this is gonna be glorious now Abel is getting a coffee at Starbucks and the food looks so good here look at this you got some delightful muffins I've never seen this chocolate one before all these goodies. <laughs> they even got like cakes and stuff. Like cake slices. Cheesecake. Some other types of cakes. Some sandwiches. Like legit sandwiches. Not some crabby ass sandwiches. 
is awesome. All I gotta say is, Starbucks USA, better step up your game. Step your game up. Cause trying to stomp it on, stomp it on us, USA. Starbucks is stomping, and I'm gonna try this McDonald's, and uh, hopefully it's not stomping, but that burger does look delectable. And uh, I'm a this is a uh, YouTube at its greatest right here, <laughs> videoing me videoing this monster over here. Actually, it's not that big, but it's the Russian the Russian sausage double chicken burger. Let's see what this is about. Here we go. So this is the double. Oh my God, it has Big Mac sauce. <laughs> so we got two chicken patties. We got a Russian sausage. And then it's made almost like the Big Mac where it has the le shredded lettuce and it has the Big Mac now sauce. I'm gonna take my first bite. Mm. Mm. It's good. The sausage is actually kind of sweet. It's a sweet sausage, and then it's very salty. The I'm gonna assume that it's the chicken patties that are very salty, not crunchy, but it's cooled down by the Big Mac sauce and the lettuce, which is nice. But it's a very dense piece of <laughs> piece of junk food, <laughs> and it's delicious. Peach pie. You guys know that I like my apple pies. So we are going to see what this thing looks like. Pink. Look at that. It smells good. It tastes like peach, but it's sweet and it's crunchy and it's pink. So I'll take it. Probably would be really good in ice cream. Mm. It's very sweet though. It's a win. All right, so we stopped now in some mall of some sort we are in a famous city here i don't even know what the, what's the name of the city again uh hangzhou hangzhou yeah. we're in hangzhou right now and we're walking around we gotta feed my man abel over here yeah, he's starving he he didn't uh didn't take advantage he didn't take advantage of the mcdonald's uh goodness <laughs> so we're gonna find him some grilled stuff and yeah, i'm gonna have lunch <laughs> uh, point two version two lunch wow jump man store so we're in a mall right now this is cool this is really cool so this is really cool they got all these stores and stuff me and abel want to stop and shop we're walking way too fast we, we see a lot of things that we can't get in the United States. Like we, we went by at some Adidas store that has some Adidas that we've never seen before and we want. And we're going to this, uh, look at this place. Candy Lab. Madness begins around. <laughs> what is this over here? 
chicken um, what's the name? It's, it's like a steamed kind of chicken. It's mostly flavorless and then you dip in the you sauce. You dip it in the sauce, yeah. Oh, I will. It looks like the easiest way to do it. This is my tower dessert. Oh my gosh. After eating a bunch of garbage, <laughs> we are now at the West Lake. Let's see what this is about. Oh wow, you got people rowing. Watch this. Ah, you see the, the tower over there? Yeah, the big tower. Leifeng tower. Well, it was said that, according to that legend, uh, still remember Justin has introduced the Bai Niang. She was being uh, she was being trapped there over that tower by the monk. Very cool. It seems very tall. One thing that you will soon learn about China is that if you look very different, people people will flock around. Literally, like I'm not kidding. Like all the like all these are flocking. Like everybody flocks. It's it's wild. But in a friendly way. It's not in a creepy way. It's in a very friendly way. Yeah, yeah, sure. It's so. Um, Amazed by seeing you guys here <coughs> because they do not have so so big muscles. I think it's the, the resources too. It's not. Yeah. It's not the same as in the U.S. <laughs> that was funny though. <laughs> how how old was that guy? Like a hundred? <laughs> yeah, 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 hundred and more even. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Currently at Starbucks right now. We're doing a little bit of filming over here, but the view. Look at this view. So we're planning on going on one of these little boats. I'm not pedaling. I'm not paddling or pedaling or nothing. But maybe Abel's gonna gonna be the one that's gonna be doing all the pedaling and paddling. <laughs> uh, for the amount of food that we ate, we need a lot more cardio. A lot more cardio. So these little boats right here, we're gonna take one and we're gonna be on it for like an hour or so. This should be should be interesting. Oh, oh we have a head-on yeah. collision. <laughs> this is bumper cars now. Yeah, bumper boats. <laughs> now we're on the boat to work. Okay, so so we're on this lake right now, and what makes what makes this lake so 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 famous? So famous? Yeah, what makes it's this because, lake so famous? Uh, back to Qing Dynasty, okay. uh, about two thousand years ago, uh, the West Lake still a part of Qian Tang Jiang, and uh, because there are uh, the river Qian Tang River, and because there are, are uh, how to say mustard things to to come together come together okay so it's form a kind of like yeah. lake <laughs> yeah. so this is why we're on the lake right now yeah we're on the lake formed by to back to Qin dynasty I learned about all the dynasties I know in uh, in high school but I don't remember what any of them ever did Ming dynasty Qing dynasty the uh, all of them and I, I don't remember a lick of what I learned well, you see back the, in the day the tower the Leifeng tower yeah the big old tower this way <laughs> that way that way that way yeah yeah it has over a thousand years history wow yeah over a thousand years yeah, the tower from earlier years, so. and that bridge is also really famous because um, they run to uh, two of the characters uh, yeah, in so the legend they, yeah they, they met in the middle of the bridge after yeah 
this is like a walk path that we're going through right now. That they have little shops and stuff as you're walking. It smells so freaking good. And then they stick it to the side, the inside, and then it comes out like that. <laughs> After many hours, many miles traveled, we have made it to the Alibaba headquarters. Here we are. Everybody's getting out. Looks like uh, work is done, but we're going in. So we're gonna go do some training. So now we're at the Alibaba Seminar, leading seminar starting now. We have a lot of uh, different level, um, <laughs> different levels of fitness here that are eager to learn. Different techniques, different methods, training forms, everything. I broke a little sweat. Uh, me and Abel just wrapped up our seminar. Abel had all the girls because <laughs> he had the beginners class and I had mostly all the guys. We, we went through every muscle group and I demonstrated how to utilize primitive uh, machines, you know, how to use, how to do body workouts like um, bodybuilding style workouts, one muscle group using like cables only and barbell only. So these guys learn how to train without having to have uh, a full uh, gym with them. So it's very important that you, you gotta be able to improvise sometimes, like how, kinda like how me and Abel are improvising at the uh, hotel. So that, that takes, I feel like that takes years. It's much easier to just walk up to a machine and oh hey, this machine is for shoulders. Um, rather than you being creative and improvising and using you know ropes for shoulders or a a, 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 a d a a metal um a d attachment to do shoulders something like that so it was really cool i think that they learned a lot i think that they the, a lot of the movements they never seen before so it was really really cool to see them uh react to it and also to see them perform the movements. So I hope that this this really uh, inspired them to get to the gym and really they got a better idea of, uh, of how to train and how to train properly with proper form. So it was worth, it was definitely worth the wait even though we we literally, we, we met in the lobby at 8.30 this morning, drove three hours, and right now it's like 10 o'clock at night and this, this is when we finished. So this was, in my opinion, this was very successful and worth the wait.